morning everyone today i'm going to show you what i eat in a day and i'm going to tell you why this is my diet and why i have to eat this way it's now around 8 30 a.m and it is breakfast time so this is what i'm having for breakfast <laughs> watermelon and blueberries one of the only foods that I'm actually allowed to eat and I'm gonna eat this just excuse our unpacked bags we're still waiting to get back home but I'm gonna eat this on our beautiful balcony <laughs> It is now 10 a.m. and I am going to take my dose of disulfiram with some water and I'm going to have a handful of nuts too. I actually drink my water first before I take my pill. Apparently this is really weird. Ross tells me so. Who else does it this way? Now for some nuts. Want some nuts? No, thank you. Okay. Hey. hey. The only reason why we're we're so dressed up is because we're doing an interview. We can't really tell you what it's for yet, but we're gonna share these nuts. I know Ross is gonna steal some, and. <laughs> Then we are going to do the interview and then I'm going to take off all of my makeup because I don't actually enjoy wearing makeup when I'm so sick. So I'm going to take it all off after my interview and then I'll continue to show you my day. Okay, so in the meantime, I just wanted to explain to you guys why this is my diet and this is what I eat in a day. So I did used to do the keto diet, which I do recommend to everyone with a pathogenic infection because as I explain in my video about the keto diet, I will link it below. The keto diet does starve the pathogens because pathogens, they live off of sugar or insulin spikes, so they love that. So it is a really good idea to do the ketogenic diet. But as we all know, everyone is different and this is what I always say. So I don't recommend one single thing for everyone. There's no one size fits all. So with my treatment that I'm doing right now, my practitioner muscle tests every single food to see what my body perceives as toxic and what foods are all right for my body to eat so that my body can heal and that my treatment can continue and complete successfully. So the only fruits that I really can eat are watermelon and blueberries. Those are the only fruits that I can eat. And then I can eat nuts, which I'm still sitting with because I'm waiting for my pill to settle. And um, what else? Chicken. I can eat meat. I can eat eggs and avocado I was able to add in eventually. Oh, and I can drink rooibos tea, which is like a South African decaffeinated tea. And I can drink chamomile tea. And usually, actually, I do have rooibos tea with my breakfast, but I've been feeling a little bit nauseous for the past few days. And then I had a healing session last night, so I don't actually feel nauseous today, but I didn't want to feel like risk it for the interview. So that's why I didn't have rooibos this morning, but I will have it after the interview. And I'm allowed to eat sweet potato as well. Sorry, I just remembered. And broccoli and cauliflower. I can eat those as well. So you'll see what I do with those in my day. But today I'm just going to be showing you very simple meals. Like very simple, easy meals. And usually he cooks my lunch and dinner. Thank you so much. Chef <laughs> Yeah, but it's stuff that you can really do yourself. You can just like... Pop, pop it in the oven you can just like chop up the potatoes and pop it in the oven you don't even have to chop up the potatoes it just takes longer to cook and then on another day tell me if you enjoy this video because then on another day i will show you what i eat in a day with more complex and interesting recipes that of course he also does <laughs> i don't do it he does it because i still don't have enough energy to spare i want to focus on my healing obviously so he has 
cool things that he makes. I'm not going to mention them now because I want them to be a surprise for the video. But do let me know down below if you would like to see that. They're still not like really complicated recipes or anything. They're pretty simple pretty to make. Pretty simple, yeah. but they taste good. So. But they, they're just more interesting and yeah. they taste amazing. <laughs> Ross has cooked lunch and it is ready. So let's go and eat. Sweet potatoes, chicken and broccoli. Do you let anyone get under your skin? I just want to get to know you so. Would you let me get to know you? and I usually try to eat early. What's going on here? Mm. Okay, so usually we have the same for lunch and dinner so that Ross doesn't have to cook so much, but today to make it interesting for you guys, we're having steaks for dinner. So just steaks and broccoli, sweet potato, and is there some onion in there? Yes, lots. Yeah, and lots of onion. Mm. This is the final product. We have some avocado. I know that I eat big portions, but Ross has a different steak. But um, we're in quarantine and I am putting on weight, but I don't really care. And I also need the energy for healing. My body needs the energy and so does yours. Thank you so much for watching. If you guys want to be notified about my videos, I know a lot of you guys ask me questions about videos that I have already made. So if you don't want to miss out on my videos and my updates, please do subscribe and give this video a thumbs up if you enjoy the content so that I know to make similar videos like this in the future and so that we can spread the word about how to heal from Lyme disease because there's so much information out there. I'm not saying that my way is the way. I'm just trying to get it out what I'm doing and to share my journey to show the reality that it's not so easy to heal and it's not straightforward and it's very complicated and very challenging but you can do it it's slow and you've got to be patient but it does eventually pay off thank you so much for watching guys i'll see you next time bye